Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to another Neon Dynasty draft here on the channel. My name is Nikolai, and in this video, I'm going to be taking you pick by pick and play by play through a Neon Dynasty draft, talking through all of my decisions so you know what to do when you draft it yourself. If you enjoy the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more draft content, and comment below with your questions, thoughts, and feedback. You can catch the Twitch stream live at twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas. Okie doke. Let's go, Twitch chat. Twitch chat, assemble! Okay, so, right off the bat, we have a controversial card, Invoke the Winds. I am of the opinion that this card is not particularly good, because Quadruple Blue is just so difficult to cast in so many of the decks that it's just, like, really, really tough. Like, 8 mana to steal their guy, or, like, 7 mana to steal their guy, I don't think is particularly good. And as a result, I'm not going to take this, even though it looks quite powerful. If you played Mono Blue, you could play maybe play it. Naomi is a gold card, so I'm not going to take it here, but it is pretty strong. I don't go by Nick Deep Breeze. Uh, there is a Kenzen Smelter, which is interesting, but I don't think as good. There's also Walking Skyscraper, which is quite powerful, fits into a variety of strategies, so I could consider that. And then in the commons, I like the Preserver, I like the Okiba Reckoner Raid. I think it's between those two, In the, if I was to pick between a commons. I kind of want to take the Skyscraper. I had some cool results with it last time, but I only got to play it once, so I would like to get more reps with it, and it can fit into a variety of strategies be that ramp or, like, some of the cool modified decks. Smelter's also interesting. But I'm going to start with the Skyscraper and see where that takes me. Wow. Cloudsteel Kieran getting passed is very interesting here. They took a common over it. What common would you take over Cloudsteel Kieran? I'm now checking to see if there's a common of a color missing, because there's at least one common of every color in each pack. So white, blue, black, red, green. So I can't, like, deduce that. I think this is just a great card. 3 mana, 3, 2 flyer is great. And the fact that you can equip it to make it really hard to lose the game is incredible. It's also a sick combo with Walking Skyscraper, because you can just... <laughs> you can literally make a Hexproof card that makes it so you can't lose. So uh, that's kind of a sweet combo to try and assemble. Literally can't lose the game. Like, I don't think that there's ways to get rid of the Walking Skyscraper in the set. So you just get that combo going and you win. So we're going to go for it. I like it. There's also Go Shintai, which is not the best shrine, but it can combine with other shrines. I mean, the, the board wipes are rare, so um, a lot of decks won't be able to beat it. They'll probably just concede. Okay, so we've started off pretty strong. Cool Uncommon into Great Rare. Oh, you can blow up the Kirin. Good point, good point. Yeah, so it's not just straight GG. Good point. There is now an Izumi Prowler, which is a card that I think is pretty good. Uh, it just plays well with other ninja stuff. No, you don't lose because you still can't lose. Like, you don't lose to mill or anything. There's a Nizumi Prowler, which is pretty nice. There's also a Runaway Trash Bot, which can just go well into a lot of different decks. There's a Greater Tanuki. And there's a white card in Befriending the Moths. I don't think the Befriending the Moths is that good. So I don't think I'm going to take that. I don't really think the Cloud Steel Kieran pushes me in any direction. It's just a good card as a 3-mana three 3-2 three flyer. That's why I took it. The Tanuki is interesting, the Nizumi Prowl is interesting, and the Runaway Trash Bot is also interesting. Uh, just as another colorless option. I think between the Trash Bot and the Prowler. And I kind of want to try the Trash Bot. It's also very cool to have like a little bit of a flexible start with the Skyscraper and the Bot, which can kind of go into any deck. And I don't really have to commit to a direction yet. So, going to try that out a little bit. Okay, there's a Goshintai. I like the Goshintai. Of, <laughs> they're all called Goshintai. They're the Hidden Cruelty one. Well, it's also, um, I don't have to necessarily play the Trash Bot. It's just like a potential flexible option. There's also a Kami's Flare, which is neat. There's an Azari, Asari Captain, so that can go well with the Cloud Steel Kirin. And like the Kami's Flare, so maybe White Red is open. The Goshintai could be solid. Uh, I don't love Essence Capture in this set because it can't counter some of the cards that matter, like channel abilities or ninjutsus. I think it's certainly between the Kami's Flare and the Goshintai. And I'm going to take the Goshintai. I think it's just a little bit better. It's also an enchantment creature to work with the Trash Bot. And we did see that red um, shrine, which maybe isn't going to wheel, but certainly a little bit of upside if it does. Getting two shrines this early could be a good sign. I kind of want to try it. There's also Master's Rebuke, but if I'm taking a green card, I'm going to take the shrine, I think. And there's also a terrarium. But yeah, we'll take the shrine. Maybe we'll wheel the red one. Could brew something up. Pretty cool. It's definitely worth trying. Could be a lot of fun. 
terminal could be good for fixing mana as well. And uh, yeah, I like this start. I think this, if you get two shrines into play, you basically win. So it's worth like speculating on pick five because if we see another shrine, we could be in great shape. I don't think there's any argument ever for taking the red shrine the first time I saw it, but now I kind of wish I had. I think I took Trashbot over it. No, I took Cloudsteel Kieran over it. So yeah, I don't think it was even remotely close as a pick. Mobilizer Mech, not my favorite card. Blues does not, not really big into the artifact, like crewing stuff, unless you're specifically blue white, in which case you might use it. Shattered States here is not a card I'm going to play in my more controlling deck. The Automated Artificer could be okay. There's just really not a high upside pick here. I could take the Nazumi Blade Blesser. Or I could take the Artificer, and it could be fine. I'm going to try the Artificer, I think. The Mobilizer Mech's the best card, but I don't think I'm going to be able to use it very well. The Blade Blesser's fine, but I think I'd rather just get a 2-drop that can maybe ramp me into my other cards. Oh my gosh. We're Shrine in it. We have three Shrines. So now we have to change how we play. There's also a Shrine Steward, which unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get back because there's just going to be a basic land in this pack. But now we're just going to have to prioritize Mana Fixing, Dual Lands, and that are in our color. So we're playing Abzan Shrines right now. Maybe we'll get back the red one. And uh, see how it does. So Swirling Mist, we phase stuff out. There's a Bamboo Grove Archer, which can be a great defensive body. This card's pretty nice, but we're probably going to be base green at some level for splashing around and stuff. There's also Searchlight Companion, but we're not going to take that. Bronze Plate Boar is fine, but yeah, we're just going to take the Grove Archer. And we get a nice dual land. Pick 9, so pick 10 would be the one where the red shrine would be. There's also a Careful Cultivation, another Bamboo Grove Archer, but we're just going to take the dual land because we already have shrines in those colors. So that's a great land to get over the ramp spell and the archer. I'm going to take the pick, and then we're going to, like, sweat it together. Will the red shrine come back? Come on, red shrine, you can do it. Wheel for me. Give me four shrines. Pack one. Let's go. Shrines. Come on, red shrine. Come on, red shrine. No! Sad day. Not the worst, though. We get a land. Plus. Plus. So we have the lands we need. So that was pretty... If, if we weren't going to get the red shrine, we might as well literally get dual lands for all of our colors to just get the like perfect mana. This is incredible mana right now. you love to see it. Man, I could play Tamiya Seek, keeping to go with my Cloudsteel Kira to protect it. Man, the duels are actually really good for me. So right now we're in good shape. We have all artifacts and enchantments, so this Runaway Trash Bot's actually looking pretty good. We have three shrines going into pack two. Repel the Vile has been decent against me. I think it's probably better than taking the Lucky Offering or the Harmonious Emergence. I, I kind of want to get some reps with this card. We've got a great Abzan Brew going into pack two. Oh, yes, we get the Rugged Highlands in case we do see a red shrine later. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Pretty good start to the draft, gotta be said. It's gonna be a sweet one. We're gonna to wanna to prioritize defensive cards so we can get our Shrine Engine rolling. Hopefully not to play the Kitsune Ace. Pack two. Wow. Two more Shrines. And the Surge Hacker. I don't think Surge Hacker is that good for me. So do I want the Green Shrine or the White Shrine? I think I'm going to take the green shrine. I can get it down early. Green is less likely to wheel, I agree. And green one is easier to kill, that's true as well. And I can also just run it out on turn two. And I'm going to probably be base green at some level. And also this one's more likely to wheel. The, the red the person who took the red shrine might play red white. But it's far more likely that yeah, I think the green one's less likely to wheel, because I think the green one's just more fine on its own as well. 
beautiful. Osage is so good. So good. <sighs> the white one may wheel, I agree. I've gotten it very late before. So yeah, we're clearly just taking Bosage over the Spirited Companion. So you want to be base green. Nichigo's Reign of Truth could be pretty solid. We have all artifacts and enchantments right now. Six enchantments, four artifacts. And a few lands. I guess we have Repel the Vile as well, but we might not play that. So yeah, we'll take Machiko's Reign of Truth. Over Voltage Surge as well. Hmm. Skyblast Samurai could be pretty decent. Cheap 4-4. I think I'm just going to take the Intercessor's Arrest, though. I don't have any removal, really. Samurai is a little bit tr tough to use sometimes, too. The fact that the red one didn't wheel makes me a little sad, because it means that the other ones are less likely to wheel, because someone else might grab them. But they have to be specifically those colors. Oh, well, I can't control it. I was not supposed to take the red one over Cloud Steel Kieran, I don't think. Second picking that shrine would be egregious. We have good mana. We have good cards. Also, this one fills up my curve a little nicer. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. The Naturalist. I wouldn't mind a Fade into Antiquity, but this card fits really nicely. It makes my cards cost less. White-green is my baseline. I'm splashing black right now. and probably just splashing for any other shrines I get. Mono's decent. This card's solid. I would take the Fade if I wasn't taking the Naturalist, though. A little bit of life gain, a little bit of casting stuff for cheaper. Yeah, the fixing's great right now. I would like to get one of the, like, artifacts that can get lands. The two-drop one. Okay. This is an interesting spot. I think Spirited Companion is more important than Soul Sunblade Samurai. Just draws me through my deck to find my synergy pieces. Um, careful Cultivation. I don't really need the ramp as much. I think I'd rather just have the card draw. Samurai is fine, but I think the campaign is better. I don't really want another Rugged Highlands when I'm not even guaranteed to play the first one. Also, the Goshen tie, this one plays better with the Walking Skyscraper because it makes it cost one less. Yeah, that's not playable. A Ganja Exemplar or Careful Cultivation? Which one would I rather have? Probably a Careful Cultivation, just a ramp card. Is a little bit more useful because the shrines are pretty mana intensive. Black, red, I'm not playing anything red anyway. I'm just going to take another Intercessor's Arrest. And then we see if we wield a shrine. We did not. Sad day. <laughs> Feels bad. We started with such a promising draft for shrines. I think we're just going to take the Archer. We still have a good late game. So we just want to get rock solid twos, I think, over the Golden Tail Disciple. Keep us salvage. Wow, we get Wanderer's Intervention or the Skyblast Samurai. Skyblast Samurai could be pretty decent as a 4-4 flyer. 
I mean, we have a lot of enchantments, so I think we're going to take it. The cultivation. Maybe we won't play it. I mean, we're just getting all the cultivations we need. Maybe we can just play fewer lands because we have so many cultivations. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's check. We're not going to play this, but let's read it. It's not playable and limited. Seismic Wave, we're not splashing for that. Circuit Mender is reasonable, as is the Jukai Preserver. Preserver is a little better. Like Circuit Mender is nice, but this card can be a combat trick and just a big creature. Kind of lacking on big creatures. And yeah, that's kind of the thought process there. This card seems really good. I have seen it do a lot of brutal stuff to players. I don't know if it's worth... I mean, I'm already splashing black, but I don't know if it's worth it to splash this card. I kind of just want to take the Blossom Prancer, because it can help me find my shrines. This card's pretty solid, for sure. Also, a Shvang of Shigaki and a Jukai Preserver, but I'm just going to take the Blossom Prancer. A uh, Tsushi... I'm not really that good at splashing a double-colored card. Three artifacts, 18 enchantments. The Runaway Trash Bot could be really good. I'm going to try. Another Boseju. That's insane. This card's also kind of crazy. I'm not really splashing red, though. The Episage is absurd. I wouldn't mind a Season of Renewal, but... Not over Boseju. So I'm not playing this Azusa's or Juke Preserver. I'm going to take the Juke Preserver. The trash bots are going to be huge based on just like enchantments. So we're not splashing red, so we just have these three. Oh! <gasps> Maybe we're going to splash blue! Fourth shrine. I mean, I think it's worth taking. Don't know how we're going to fit it into the deck. Over Merge Keeper. We already have three copies of this card, and it's basically the same card. So I'm not really feeling bad about taking it. Spirited Companion, Story Weave, or Fade into Antiquity. Kind of just want to take Spirited Companion. I do have some removal already. I'm doing okay on removal, I think. I repel the vial, which I can play. I have two intercessors of rest. I'm gonna take the Golden Tail Disciple because I do have a lot of enchantment synergy, so I think it's better than the trainee. Just because of how many enchantments I have. Rogue Archer. So splashing blue for this thing may be a little troll. I don't think so, though. Because once you get two shrines rolling, you're in good shape. So we play a single island. I might have to play two islands. I might just not play it. I'm already splashing black for a shrine. Year of Enlightenment doesn't seem that good to me. 
but the scrying is nice. Season is great. Let's go. And we got the Azusa's back. Oh my gosh, this deck is stacked. Unfortunately, I didn't get the fixing that green often has. I don't have any um, tanukis. I don't have any, like, multicolor fixing, really. So I don't think I can play this blue one. Because I wouldn't be able to ever have the colors to cast it. So it's, like, cute in theory, but I just don't have the mana for it. Three shrines, and I have a backup copy of this one. I have four shrines. So I want to make sure I have enough forests. Check my colors. 13, 12, 1. So pretty even split. So 1, 1, 1, 7, 6, that. So I think this is a good mana distribution. Um, So now I just have to determine how I'm going to cut cards. So I have 19 creatures, 9 spells. All of my... I have so many enchantments. 21. I can start cutting Bamboo Grove Archers, I think. I cut the Era of Enlightenment. I can cut the, not Cloud Steel Carry, not that one. I, I can cut the Golden Tail Disciple. And I can add back in one Bamboo Grove Archer. So this is 17 lands, but I do have two Boseju's. Honestly, the trash bots might not be good enough, but I kind of want to try them. This card also might not be good enough. I think Skyscraper fits here. I have two of the Preservers. I got two of that shrine. Um, I don't know. It just also seems like a sweet combo. And I've got some ramp, maybe. I'm not actually playing the ramp right now. I also have two Besages to just hit my lands. I could cut Sky Bless Samurai, but it's going to cost so cheap a lot of the time. This is 40. I could cut a Forest and add in a Careful Cultivation. Let's see my enchantment count. 16 enchantments, 4 artifacts. Because I do have a couple Cantrippers. Cause that's kind of like a land. I'm not playing any of the archers, but maybe you know maybe I'll regret that. But I'm gonna just see. I think repel the vial should be good. So yeah, let's try it like this. I'll see you folks in the matches. Before I get to the games, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the patrons who support my content at patreoncom slash Bolas, and special shout out to those at the credits level. If you've never heard of Patreon, it is a site where you, the viewer, can go and pledge an amount of your choosing each month to my content to help me continue to make videos and also gain access to some Patreon exclusive rewards like access to my Neon Dynasty card by card tier list. If Patreon is something that sounds like it would interest you, it's also worth noting that there's no long-term commitment, so you don't have to lock in, and you can check it out, cancel at any time, or rejoin the Patreon if you decide to do so. You can find more information at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas, links in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get to the matches. Welcome to round one. Nice little keep right off the bat. Getting to see the careful cultivation do its thing. Kind of like filling in for a land almost. Gonna channel this, make a 1 1, and then play the Yoshintai and start putting counters on it. Yeah, I can always experiment after the fact. Let's just dive in and see how it performs. Intercessor's Arrest is a premium card for me. I need to be able to use my removal. So 
So I could just play the Preserver. I think I'm going to start the Goshintai train, though. And the next turn I can play Preserver and put a counter on the Goshintai. And then the Skyscraper can come down like the following turn if I hit another land. No! There we'll go, Shintai. We hardly knew you. Good thing I have a backup. I didn't get any Shrine Stewards this time around, which is... Kind of rare. I feel like normally you can pick one of those up. But I think maybe they just weren't open to this table. Kappa Tech Wrecker, pretty great. Also, thanks everyone for all the follows on the Twitch stream. It's been great. So cool to see a bunch of new viewers that are going to maybe stick around and view in the future. It's free to follow, and I appreciate everyone who does so. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that, but that would be funny. No! I got you. Gonna enchant the fang now because the fang is gonna be a problem. I don't want to trading with my skyscraper. I'm fine blocking with my trash pot on the ogre. Ogres are not. Wow, they are sacrificing it to draw two cards now? That's insane. What? You don't sacrifice a land to get out of mana screw. <laughs> it's just insanity. So now that I can play the Skyscraper this next turn, i will have six mana. Life is good, Charlie. Wow, I'm surprised they didn't attack and try to hit me. Why would anyone say in before another turtle? I don't want to see another turtle. You don't want to see another turtle. Nobody wants to see another turtle. Turtle would destroy me. Though this isn't hexproof, so. Maybe okay. I don't think red green can really beat a walking skyscraper. You just can't get past it. My ghost Shintai shall continue to grow.
And eventually I shall draw a second shrine. And then things shall really pick up. Steam. Any shrine but the black shrine. So red green doesn't really have flyers to worry about. And I don't want them to have a combat trick to go with the tanuki. So I am going to enchant that now. Because they can equip it and maybe have like a combat trick and really just get me. And I think I'm going to be buying plenty of time with my Skyscraper against most other threats they could have. I don't have any other removal in the deck other than the Expel, though. So I have 24 cards, one of which is my White Shrine, which would be great. White Shrine would be my best draw, probably. Cloud Steel Kieran would also be great. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I did that. So I could uh, not have this Tanuki takeover. The Platinum Horse would be amazing. Okay, it looks like they're spreading out the counters. Now they're putting them all on that guy so they can eventually grow large enough. They have a Grove Archer. They have Reach. This thing's not attacking, it's just another blocker. I couldn't attack in anyway because they would just multi-block and it would be a problem. This thing's clearly blocking there. I don't want to double block that, do I? So I think they have plus three, plus three. That's the most likely outcome here. So I, don't, I want to block there. And let's just let them get their plus three plus val three value killing that thing. Oh, they just have nothing. That's one way to do it, I think. So they only have one creature capable of attacking right now. Plus this Sashira thing that's going to be able to... Wow, they didn't get back that Ninja Turtle? I'm glad I put the counter here, because if they put another counter onto this thing, it would be 7 power, 8 power. Okay. Ooh, I want a Blossom Prancer. That would be really good for me. Gosh, if I draw my Kieran, I'm in such good shape. Ugh. Pretty, pretty funny. Hopefully we can get that done. Hello, Kieran.
Speak of the devil. They literally need artifact or enchant removal or they lose. <laughs> they don't have it in the deck. Yes. Yes. That is exactly what we were hoping for. And that is amazing. Let's go. <laughs> the combo. It's very rare that you go pack one, pick one, pack two, pick one, immediately have a game, uh, pack, I mean, pack one, pick one, pack one, pick two, immediately have a game winning combo, and then you assemble it. <laughs> yes. Hex proof. Plus, can't lose the game equals GG. That was incredible. Man, this has been such a blast of a stream. Thanks everybody for hanging out. It's great to have you. Oh my gosh. Also on YouTube, it's great that you're able to witness such a fun deck. I mean, several, and this has been a long stream. I've been making good stuff for several decks. Ooh, the Jukai Naturalist. And we have our Swamp. So I can't cast the Jukai Naturalist. White Red. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to figure out if I can like get this thing into play and cast a couple of enchantments the following turn. So if I go channel this in, next turn I'll have four mana. I can go Naturalist, Azusa, play an extra land, go Shintai maybe. If I draw another forest. No, I already have this as another forest. So I think I can do all that stuff on my next turn. It's going to be an insane turn three. Okay, I'm going to have five mana, so I can go two, three, four, five. Five being activating it. Assuming they have no interaction. I think if they just play another card here. Sure. Crackling Emergent seems pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, we can... Oh no, they can still tap with the mana then. And this costs three mana. Oh my god. That's a heck of a turn three. Opponent only has two lands in play, and I've got the whole kitchen sink. No blocks. I'm gonna make this a 4-4. Four, four. And then I'll play this for 2 mana. No big deal. Just uh, don't mind me. 2 mana 4-4 four, four flyer on turn 4. This is actually ridiculous. Oh, I don't have the mana to pay for it. I'm so devastated. Bet you they're wishing they'd killed that Jukai Naturalist when they had the chance. Just gonna Intercessors arrest their mountain and then go after them. Smacking for 10, two of which is lifelink.
I can clear that up. This is going pretty well. They have three cards in hand. Uh, sniper. I get to hit him for seven, though. This does have reach. Getting this down for two mana was pretty insane. Okay. The monkey. Crash bot doing everything it needs to do. Oh, look, they killed that, but I now have a 6 4 trampler. Huh. Trash bot's pretty sweet. Oh, no. It's only a 4 4 for you, bud. Let's go! This deck is awesome! That was so cool! Oh my gosh, that was just like playing like Affinity and like, or something. Like all my cards cost nothing and I was just curving out perfectly. Holy heck, that was insane. Okay, next round. Well, we have one Go Shintai, a Boundless, and we're on the draw. I think this is a keep. If we do hit this Boseju, it's going to be great. And we have all our colors now, nice. And we can trade off happily. They are legendary. Oh, I wish I could uh, have been able to Intercessors arrest this before it got to get the Aki Ember Keeper back. Unfortunate, such is life. I was definitely hoping I could draw a land to do that. Land? I'm gonna play this thing. 
the blocks pretty well. And then I'm going to arrest if they play a big creature. I'm going to get this Azusa, which is a 3-3, so that's pretty nice. Hopefully I can get Boseju down soon, because that'll make sure I don't have mana issues anymore. Sure, this is okay. My 1-4 does block decently. I should have blocked the other one, because if they were going to use a combat trick, they'd gain less life this way. The Preserver is going to be able to put a counter here, counter here. I'll be able to crush a bunch of their guys. It's going to go great. At least I'm optimistic. Because it's also going to buff this thing up by putting an enchantment in the graveyard, so this will gain two power. Oh, it's going to be totally fine, Grimlock. We're in great shape. Watch and learn. This is going to be a 4-4. Four, four. This is going to be 2... You want to block first, so if they do have removal, you at least get the block off. their thing. We've stabilized the ground. I go Yamazaki. Sure. Wow, if I draw a land, I can play this thing and activate it. Nice. Next turn, I can play Boseju. Two ways to punish the Yamazaki. I'll have like lock with likeness of the seekers. And, okay, so we're in great shape here. This is like incredible for us. We now hit our lands. We can start growing our Goshintai. And the next turn we can play this Goshintai for three mana, kill their smelter, buff up this one to be a 4 4. We can't quite also play this Skyblast Samurai, though maybe we can because it'll only cost one mana to do that once we play this Goshintai. I'm just going to put the two counters on this thing. Make a 4-4 death touch. Sure. I'm going to Intercessors arrest that so they can't take it out. Take, like, wreck me. This is really going well. 
We're about to win this game. With two shrines in play, we're going to be able to start killing all their guys. Yeah, I guess I killed it could have killed the boar with that. Whoops. That was a waste of the arrest. Yes. Got the win anyway. I'm really starting to get the hang of this format, I think. Really starting to enter that cruise control, just kinda crushing every draft, feeling good phase. <laughs> Let's go. Man, I'm still so happy we got the hexproof uh, combo. I mean, they, they were not coming back from that. There was nothing they could have done, I don't think. Especially because I had that return card in my hand, but I just had so much more power than them. My shrines were going to take over. This is a good hand. We can't cast this one yet, but we have this Spirited Companion to do some good work. It is a land, hopefully. I wonder if from their perspective they also have a porch, or if they're like playing it into the water. I hope, I wish they could play the into the water. Preserver's so cool. What a good design. Very satisfying to play without feeling broken. Land ho! Yes. He hits the land! He's a beast. We have like every card as an enchantment or artifact, which just makes the trash bots also kind of an awesome card in the deck. Oh, this is such a cool deck! Oh my gosh, I don't even need the blue shrine for it to be awesome. Black, red. Okay, that's not what I like to see. No, the value. What? No. We're not giving it minus one, minus one. <sighs> no, three colors on turn three. Take that back, you scallywag. I'm just going to keep putting counters on it. I know I could have just played this as a 4-4, but I can do that and put a counter on it next turn. Using this as a combat trick might be good, too. No! They have the shrine. But if I draw a black source, I can use this shrine. I only have three black sources in the deck, so it's not that likely. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
That's gonna leave a mark. Not gonna target their shrine. Aim. Not in the cards. If only the shrines weren't legendary, then they'd be completely busted, but still. I'm hoping they go for the obvious double block. This one's a little closer as of a game because they've gotten a few two for ones. Okay. That was a bit wrong. Creature cards into Funded Graves Graven, and I have none. Oh, I have three. So they would trigger it to get six power. Goodbye, sweet shrine. Yeah, that would be a real good pacifism variant.
think we got this. So yeah, they're dead if they equip. Because they won't have enough blockers. Nice. So you have to chump everything. Wow, the portrait of Michiko did so much work. It gained us a ton of life, but our lifelinker guy. I figured they'd take one down with them. You gotta respect it. Wow, this deck is cruising! Oh yeah, Portrait was really good. So I, in my one of my videos, I was talking about payoffs for having enchantments and artifacts, like having one having one of each, because there are some cards that care about that. And people are like, oh, why aren't you listing Portrait as um, one of those? I'm like, well, that card's just good in an enchantment deck or a heavy artifact deck. And so like, that's what I was thinking at least. This card, like, like I have so many enchantments, the card just gives like plus, it gave like plus five plus all that, it was insane. Also, the cost reduction on the white, green, gold card is insane in some of these curve outs. I'm going to mulligan this. It's too sketchy. I don't have a green source. Okay, it's much better. I'm going to put the trash bot on the bottom. I'm going to just play this as a mana dork. I don't want to attack because that incentivizes them to just attack me back, which I don't really want to do. No. I can get back both of them. Might do that, so I continue having stuff to do. It's not like the greatest thing ever, but it's something. Next turn, Skyscraper. Three, four, five, six. And I hope they don't have one of those, like, crabs to counter it. Whew, we did it. <laughs> nice try, bud. Uh, 
I guess I just have to hold this guy back because I'm behind in the life total. I guess I could have attacked them technically, but then my guy's exposed as well. Yeah, this is just better. I just win the waiting game with my Goshintai of Boundless Vigor. They must have a way to kill an artifact, or they would have conceded. Never mind! <laughs> oh my gosh! It's so brutal. It's so brutal. They just like... I can't kill it. Oh, that's one of the funniest things. Like, my 8-8 Hexproof guy is just, like, the perfect target for my... Here, my, uh, equipment thing. Because they have to literally have, like, artifact removal. I guess I'll concede, because there's nothing else I can do. Just, what the heck. I guess that's GG. Good hand. We don't have white mana yet, but we'll find it. We do have black mana for when we draw our other shrine. No, not Kumano. Kumano, no. This could go very, very badly, very, very quickly. Oh no, that is not good. one of the most busted starts I've ever seen. So we've got a nice little double block set up on that guy. The sad part is, is they get exiled, so my runaway trash bot can't even do anything. So they're going to equip this onto this thing, maybe. They must be so confused. such good shape now. I'm all Gucci to go. And then my skyscraper is going to come down and close the game down. No! You cad. You absolute cad. You monster. I hate you. You evil creature. Hopefully I draw a land here maybe. That'll do. I 
I'm in so much pain. I'm gonna lose this stupid simian sling. I need to find a way to game life, but I don't have any. Because the sling can just keep equipping itself to different things. Ugh. Pain. No, I'm gonna lose this sling. It's so brutal. I need to find my... Oh, if I'd found that a turn earlier, I would have had him, maybe. Sixteen damage. Man, I was literally one turn off. That's so tough. If I'd drawn the Azus as many journeys a turn earlier, I would have won. Oh, that's so brutal. If I'd drawn one more game land, I would have won. They had like the most godlike draw possible, and then I still almost won. Oh. And then I was so close. It was like one point of damage off either way. This is my one of my weaker hands, but it has both colors, and I've got a trash bot to cast, so I'm gonna keep it. Thanks, Burgonator. Oh, that's such a good draw for this hand. Especially against that decoy. That ninja's deck, maybe. Certainly blocking. Ooh, red mana. Want to keep my blockers up to speed with their number of attackers. Okay, so far so good. We're holding the line. Keeping the ninjas off the board. 
Oh gosh. This will gain one power when I channel that. I think I'm going to channel this instead of going for Season of Renewal on that. I can always chump block with this thing and then get it back later. I don't think they're going to keep sacrificing creatures. Hi, Trelevin. How is it going? Let's go. Take that, Papercraft Decoy. Also a death toucher to block this. Got him. In Bali, that's fantastic. Sounds like fun. Depending on what you're doing in Bali. Sure. That's always the best working in a good project. I almost have the combo again. And blue black doesn't have artifact removal. Oh my gosh, we're about to do it to them again. Oh my gosh, no! That's brutal. That's not nice. Do I have a way of sacrificing it? I can destroy it with this if I get my second shrine into play. I'm going to block this one because I'd rather they don't ninjutsu this one.
so I can get back to go Shintai and the Samurai, or I can get back Arrest and the Samurai. I'm going to get back the Samurai, because I have one, two, three, four enchantments right now. Oh, that's not good. That's not ideal. Studies are going well, Trilevin. Um, I finished my first degree, now I just work on my second. So, be nice. So I have enough mana to cast the Skyscraper next turn. Thanks. So if I draw a kill spell for ninja, I can kill this thing. Which would be good. But I mean, if I draw another one of my shrines. Drawing the white shrine would be good. I haven't drawn that one yet, the entire draft. Playing the skyscraper should probably be good enough to win, hopefully. Can't believe it, it's so brutal. I'm happy with the I'm still fine with the order I played them in because like I'm not gonna like be able to kill anything. But yikes. Crab was good for them to have there. This is tough. Which one do I play? I think I just play the skyscraper. And then if they have a counter spell, I weep.
Thing's gonna be able to double pump soon. Hit me for six a turn, yikes. To get to ninjutsu something in, which is just such a huge issue for me. They have the you are already dead card. I hope not. Wow. I'm dead. Three, five. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven. I'm just dead. Ouch. Oh gosh. Losing to the stupid incision card. I don't. Oh, that was just so rough. The fact that they had the answer to my Cloud Steel Kieran in their blue black deck also hurt. Also, the fact that they um, stopped my shrine with the counter spell. The crab. Was that my third loss? Maybe it was. Oh no, I still have rounds to go. Let's go. I could still get the trophy. <sighs> oh. Little green monkey. It goes well, Charlie. I'm five and two. I've got a mulligan this. Crushed by the swamp. This is better. Trash bot's not doing anything. It is a long stream for me, Charlie. I mean, I've got a couple of big raids, so it's nice to stream to more viewers when they're available. Also, the set just came out, so I'm having fun exploring. Uh, 
think the renewal is going to be better than the trash bot because trash bot's not really great in the early game. Oh, both of us mulligan. Nice. They get to loot. I'm just going to do that now so they can't start just drawing cards, taking over. Getting Besager down would have been nice, to be fair. But since they're on low resources and I'm on low resources, I figure I'd rather shut them down. Oh my gosh, what a draw. What a draw! No, not the crab. No, not the crab. No, not the crab. No. Yes. Hidden cruelty. No. You killed my hidden cruelty. I will not forget this opponent. This slight shall not go unpunished. Okay, so now I can they get to loot a little bit, but I get to play both of these in one turn. And I can get back mine, go Shintai, and kill their hacker. They get to get a bunch of treasures and loot some lands away, which is nice. But then my go Shinta should kill this thing at some point. No! The tempo is real. They have to get so much treasure, so much looting. Specialist is doing work, but I'm really mostly worried about the Moon Circuit Hacker. Finally drew that one. Well, just like that, my board got a lot scarier for them. And also have this go Shintai, finally. This is my first time drawing it.
Gonna be able to take out the Moon Snare Specialist. This is going well. Yes! And we are on the precipice of our first trophy in Neon Dynasty once more. Six wins, two losses. The key match of the entire sequence. Can we clutch it? Hopefully we can get our Hexproof combo. Hopefully we don't have the mulligan. We will see in this final no-holds-barred game. Let me know in the chat if you think we can make it. This is the time to send your chat energy. We all know chat has good luck powers. The Boseju Saga is amazing. I have played it a lot, and it is incredible. <sighs> it's a four mana, like, 7-7 seven, seven that draws you two cards. Yes! 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 The Go Shintai was waiting for the right moment to strike. To join forces with me in the power of Shrinedom. I could potentially play the Shintai of Shared Purpose this following turn. Come on, land. Oh yes, I have three shrines in my deck. Actually, I have four. I have two of the green one. No! The shared purpose must wait until a little bit later. I also have the blue shrine in my sideboard, but I didn't have the mana for it. Like my mana is like good for the, these colors, but not great for others. Oh no. The reason I'm not attacking is because there's a way that uh, a card that deals four to an attacker or a blocker. And they probably don't just have nothing in their opening hand. So I'm thinking they might have that. Okay, they have the Tanuki. Sure. Shared purpose is sharing space in my hand. I'm so disappointed. Oh my gosh, I was so close. I need one more land. Gotta be kidding me. I can't believe this. This is so silly. I literally have the perfect hand for hitting my land drops and stuff. Just, oh, I'm gonna lose. Luckily I have this to kill that. This is horrendous. Oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm so sad. Opponent has seven lands in play. Probably could have attacked. I bet you they would have blocked. 
I choked that. I should have attacked. It would have blocked. I would have been able to kill that thing. Finally. I'm in so much trouble, though. Oh my gosh, I still get the ability? That's insane. Also, I should have just played this instead of using my repel, repel the vial on this. Definitely a mistake was made there. Because now if they have another samurai or something, I'm in trouble. If I can get enough mana, I can equip this to something. Like this Goshinta, I can maybe get there. Oh no! I knew you using this would cost me. I'm just gonna gain the 4 life. Oh, it's so tempting. Just gotta gain that life. Let this Boseju carry me to victory. I don't need the shrines to carry me here. Just to make sure I have enough life to survive. No! Oh, I'm so screwed. Okay, I have this season of ritual. So I can re enchant it. And this has reach. They have no cards in hand, so I can just get my second best Sage going. It's so tense. White green can't kill. If this is equipped to something, I don't think. Holy heck, this is so intense. Next time I'm going to put this onto the Boundless Vigor. I'm going to get another Reach creature here. Don't mind. Don't mind if I tanuki.
So they have to not only kill an artifact, which they might be able to do, but they also have to kill me that same turn, because otherwise I can get it back with Season of Renewal. Oh! <gasps> How did I shuffle my deck? Oh, because I played my other Boseju. Oh my gosh, it is only fitting that this is the time when my triple shines would come out. Yeah. Yes! Trophy! Victory! Oh my gosh, I thought we were dead. We couldn't draw our fourth land. But then Boseju saved us. And the shrine to Boseju continues to grow. And the people were proud of the Boseju. Three shrines at once, combining forces. Go Shintai of Heartless Cruelty, Go Shintai of Boundless Vigor, and Go Shintai of Shared Vision or Shared Purpose. Something similar to those. Yes! Oh, yes! What a victory! Oh my gosh, this draft had it all. We had the Hexproof plus Can't Lose the Game combo, which we assembled two separate times. We also had that insane affinity-like draw where we played our entire hand by like turn four and we played this on for two mana on turn four, which was insane. We also had a, I think, six-powered runaway trash bot, which is also insert. We had this give plus five plus five or something. And then we had that crazy game where we got all three Goshintai shrines into play from our deck. What a run, what a draft. That was a ton of fun. If you were watching this on YouTube and you made it all the way to the end of this video, remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and comment below with your questions, thoughts, and feedback, and leave hashtag can't lose the game to let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video because our deck did not let us lose when we had that Cloud Steel Kieran combo. I think that was probably the funniest thing we did. Uh, or that last game where we just refused to lose and we clutched it out. So hashtag can't lose the game to let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video or hashtag first trophy hype or something of that nature. You can also remember to, uh, like, if you would like to catch me streaming live, you can find twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas linked in the description. And if you'd like to support my content, you can do so via the Patreon, patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. It's linked in the description down below. Basically, the way it works is you choose an amount each month. It's of your cho choosing. It can be any number. Um... And in, uh, you pledge that each month. You can cancel it at any time if your circumstances change. And in return, you uh, are supporting my content, which helps me continue to produce videos. And you also gain access to exclusive rewards like my tier list for Neon Dynasty. So it's a cool little uh, give and take system where if you're enjoying my videos and you want to help me continue making as many as I do, then Patreon is the best way to do so. It really does make a big difference. In the description, you can also find links to my articles, the Nikolai Bolas Discord server, which is free to join, Nikolai Bolas Merch Store, Nikolai Bolas Twitter, if you want to follow there. So I post there, post there whenever I post a new video. Uh, you can find links to pretty much everything under the sun. Also on my channel, you can find draft guides um, and other draft videos and things of that nature. So check out the other videos I have on my channel. Anyway, this is a sweet deck. I'm gonna miss playing it. It was a total blast, a ton of fun. I really hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will talk to you next time.